Hello, hello you beautiful bunch. Yes, as you can see from the title of this video, I am going to be testing a bunch of different white shirts so we can find the perfect white shirt. Yes, this may have come because I have accidentally left one of my shirts at Chloe and Jess's and therefore I've left myself without a shirt. Yes, I should have bought more than one. I should just have more than one of my wardrobe. Yes, this is true. So for today's video, we are going to be basically delving over to ASOS as we like to. I've picked up some really, really cute looking white shirts that we can then pop under jumpers, have them by themselves. I think they're just really nice sort of staple garments, staple garments that we need in our wardrobes. So I thought you could come along with me for the ride whilst I find myself the most spectacular white shirt you ever did see. I have got quite a few different styles as well. So I've got like six or seven, I think, that I just got off of ASOS because I was like, well, ASOS, you know, are going to be the place. They're going to be the place. If you need one, they're gonna have one there. And also they've got loads of other different brands and loads of different other things that you might wanna buy on there whilst you're there. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I'll show you the shirts, we'll have a try on. I'll give you a rating. And then you can shop them down below, as usual, if you fancy a look of any of them. If not, just come around for the laughs, isn't you? Isn't ya? Isn't ya? You're coming along for the laughs. Yes, that's what I thought. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe if you're new. I do, I do appreciate every one of you. Um, let's just get straight into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Let's go. First up, we have this rather rather dishevelled looking shirt from Collusion, or Collusion, however you prefer to say such, such shop. This is what it looks like. I'll pop like pictures up and obviously I'll do like try-ons and stuff as well so you can see the real picture, the real picture of it. Um, this I got in a size 12 and what I really liked about it is that probably aren't gonna be able to see, it, like, see the detail on it properly here. Um, but they've got this little like ruching, hang on, they've got this little sort of like ruching here, down here, that you can pull up and have shorter or longer depending on depending on your needs, depending on your needs. Which I really, really liked the um sort of like idea of, and I feel like it kind of gives that sort of retro feel as well when it's sort of like cropped. Um, has that sort of like cropped, cropped vibe, I was gonna say. The collar is kind of like my current Zara one already. So it's not too flimsy, but it's also not like really hard either, which I mean, if that's what you like, if that's what you enjoy in a shirt, then glorious. I do really like it. Um, I'm not just gonna go, yes, this is the one on the first shirt. That would be silly. That would be silly. And that would then defeat the whole object of this video. So that's the first one. Do a little try on, a little impromptu try on, and then I'll give you like what I'm thinking, then we'll go on to the next one. I don't currently know what I'm thinking, but Abby in the future knows what she's thinking. So back to you. Back to you in the studio, Abby. Even though we're in the same studio. Right, collusion, what have you got to say? collusion 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 oh also it's got a little bit of like ruching at the back as well like where it stretches which is kind of cool kind of wavy kind of mad i do enjoy these sleeves they're not too like like a, a struggle to like get through it's not like a pringles can you guys know the, the issues that we have with pringles cans you yeah. <laughs> know just coming out of the womb every single time all over again Right, so this is the first one. It's very creased, I know. Get rid of the creases. Just get rid of them visually and you'll be all right. You'll be fine. I quite like it. It's one of those things that it, she's the main event though. You know, she's she's the main event. I like this neckline. Neckline's very pretty. It's got no like buttons. Like this is where it starts and then it's like seamed here. And then you've got, like I said, the ruching. So this then, the idea is, you pull her up and she ruches so she looks all pretty. Look at the back. Put it back. 
put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Tie her up. Make her look nice. Hmm. How do you make this bit look nice though? Again though, these are just going to be sort of like the shirts that you put underneath a shirt, a, a, a sweatshirt. So I feel like this isn't really essential to the rest of the shirt. I feel like the sleeves are essential. The collar and the neckline are essential. I just feel like the bottom part, what are you doing it for? Unless you're gonna, gonna try and dress up like someone out of Clueless or you know, those sort of like regions. I don't feel like that, that bit's really needed. Like this is fine like it is. Oh, has it got a bit of a puff? No, it's just my shoulder. Okay, it's got a bit of like pleating. Can you see, hang on. Almost like a bit of pleating there. The collar though. Well, no, actually, I think it's kind of the same as the others that you will see soon, soon, foreshadowing. It's just the bottom half that I just don't feel like I require. Like this, by itself, looks like a solid shirt. You start whacking this into the mix, like, what are you doing? You're dressing up, you're gonna try and look like Britney Spears. Like everyone dressed for a, um, a Halloween. I feel like if it's not hitting, don't be buying it, you know? Don't, if it's not hitting, don't be buying it, it's not hitting. Like, it's not hitting you through the camera, is it? So I don't think I'm gonna go for it. I feel like it's quite cute, quite cute. It's quite cute. Shall I say it again? It's quite cute. Just want a basic shirt. It's literally all I need. And she's coming at me with this, with laces and ruching. And a very nice neckline, though. I do rate the neckline. The neckline, as I said, neckline, collar, sleeves, very nice. Just a lot going down here, which I don't really need, to be honest. Right, okay, so. Good lord. Is there another one in there? No. Okay, so we've then got Monkey. <laughs> you know I'm a sucker for Monkey. I love you, Monkey. I love you with all my heart. All my heart and soul. I love Monkey. Did you know that Monkey's also the sister brand of H&M? Didn't think so, didn't think so. There's a fun fact for you. Right, okay, so this one is more the idea of it's gonna go underneath a jumper, like underneath a little knit, underneath, because it has got short sleeves. The girlie's got short sleeves. I got it in a medium, this one. I can't remember what the price is, but I'll whack it up on the screen for you. Um, it's also quite like cropped. As you can see here, the midriff is the showing. Um, I don't actually know where it's gonna come up to on me yet, but obviously future Abby will tell me and will show you also. Um, but I just think it's quite a nice length and I don't know, I think I like the idea of them being shorter, like having a short sleeved one because sometimes you don't want all the layerage. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean by that? Sometimes the jumper is enough. Sometimes she's thick enough without the shirt needing to be full length. I feel like that's quite a nice thing to have, whether you have like a long one or a short one, then you're not stuck like I am at the minute when I have no shirts. Now I have a lot of shirts, but I don't actually know what the fit's like yet, but we will in a minute. I didn't even show you what the colour's like either. I feel like the colour is actually quite the important part of this. So this is what the collar looks like. It's quite a thin collar. I don't know if you guys think that, oh, well the back looks a lot thinner, but the front, I think I'll have to try it on and see what I think. Okay, now we've got the monkey shirt. I do quite enjoy her. I feel like monkey sizing as well. Normally it's quite, it's quite strong. Monkey shirts, let's see, let's see. I have got my hopes up for you, monkey. If you don't work out the way that I want, I'm gonna have to throw shapes. And we're not talking about circles and squares. Here, guys and girls. Oh, there we are. Right, okay. Why do I feel like that lad at a Big Bang Theory? What's his name? How Howie? No, the other one. You know the one, the one that's with the girl that goes Howie. It is Howie, isn't it? I don't enjoy it by itself with no sleeves. I don't enjoy it with no sleeves. I think as well the fact that it's got like a crease here from where it's been in the packaging. Oh God. The collar, magnificent. Look at that collar. Wait, let me let me come in to you. Look at that collar. That collar is magnificent. The creases just does it for me. The creases just do it. No, I don't enjoy it. I don't, I don't enjoy it. But this is the sort of shirt that would be underneath a vest. 
like a jumper, that sort of thing. These these would definitely be, this would be the ideal shirt. Snatch activities. For jumper, for sweatshirt, for long sweets, for long sweet argyle jumpers. You don't go bare armed in autumn winter, do you? You don't go bare armed. Not in the UK anyway. I enjoy the colour of this. It's sort of like the similar um, material to the other ones that you will see shortly. I've done it backwards. I tried on my shirts backwards. So the last shirt I've tried on and the first one I haven't even tried on yet. But I do enjoy this one. I feel like, yeah, the colour's really nice. It's sort of like similar to the Zara one. Maybe I will keep this one as sort of like my, I'm wearing a jumper. I don't want loads of layers on sort of shirt we shall see we shall see what what the shirt gods bring today okay next one i got stay there girlies right next one is from a brand called pimpkey or pimp no idea but it's um hang on that's the brand i have heard of them before i've tried um like trousers i think from them before something like that unsure go right this one was it a long sleeve it was it does look quite like school shirt do you know what i mean look so i'm not I'm not quite sure on it what's the color sitch like as well let's go straight for the color and see yeah the color's all right again i think it's quite small tell me if you think it's small let's try it on um see look this one i've got on here this is from ASOS. It's um, it's a girl I follow on Instagram called Francesca Perks. I just come out of her in collection on ASOS label rail, and it looks so freaking cool. I'll link it down below for you. It's a nice little item. Oh, item staple. It's also on ASOS. So these are all on ASOS, and this is also on ASOS. So if you're there, well, you're there. Well, look at this. What's here? A nice little, nice little knit for you for autumn. Thicker than that, and I think I quite like the almost exaggerated collar quite like that whereas this is a bit unsure again not sure on the price i got it in a 40 though which i think is a 12. i feel like i'd want it to be quite like oversized as well and it doesn't look very oversized again we'll have a look we'll see we'll assist we'll assist the situation already from first look at this pimpkey shirt i don't feel like i'm gonna get on with it i don't enjoy the buttons I didn't really look at the buttons in depth when I bought them, um, but I don't think I like this sort of like, the sort of like fabric-y ones. Not sure. And they've also got the Bridgerton. We're going to call this the Bridgerton sleeve, okay? When they roll it back up. Is that a thing that you do? Is that a thing that you do? Is that a thing that you do? Tell me. In the comments, tell me. God, Christ. If it didn't have foundation on it already, it definitely does now. Christ. Okay, well, this isn't gonna. Have you seen white chicks? If you know, you know. What the My boobs have never been an issue until this video. My boobs have never been an issue. If you guys have watched me for this long, you know my boobs have never been an issue until now. What is this? What is this? I need to look like Charity Shop Sue. I don't look nothing like Charity Shop Sue. I think it's just the hair tucked into the shirt. Good Lord. Why am I even trying? This is obviously a fat no. Look, gaping, can barely move. I don't understand. I'm definitely gonna have to go for more of like the oversized shirts. I need guys help, I need guys help. Guy, I need your help getting out of this shirt, please. Love you lots. Yeah, love you lots also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, next up, we've got Misguided. Good old, good old Misguided. Let's see what she's got. Let's see what she's got in store. I feel like Misguided could potentially be a good one. Misguided tends to be sort of like 
To me, it's like the river of online shopping. Now, hear me out here. So obviously, River Island in the High Street, I feel like, is a bit more higher end, but the quality's there. Like, it's still, like, in the new look top shop, any other high street shop you'd think of, enter here. But it's more, a little bit more expensive. It's on, like, the top shop side, but the quality is quite there, I feel, a lot of the time. So I feel like Misguided is kind of like the River Island of the online shops. So you've got Boohoo, Nasty Girl, um, Pretty Little Thing. They're sort of, like, in their own world. And then you've got, like, Misguided, which is a little bit more expensive, I think, sometimes, but also sometimes is worth it like depending on the the item that you buy depends on the like the style depends on the price point depends on the quality i might just be chatting shit here with you you might be thinking ab just get on with it i just want to share with you my thoughts this one apparently is another short sleeved girly like this i feel like this is quite a retro quite a little retro shirt again you could wear it by itself with like a cardigan over the top i mean it's winter like when are you not layering like wh when are you gonna wear this by yourself by yourself by itself um again sort of like with the monkey one you could sort of layer it so you've got your you've got your golfing knitwear on you've got just any jumper any sweatshirt any sort of knitwear um or argyle 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 sweatshirt quite a nice sort of thing to have let's see what the collar situation is i'm measuring it up against this one in hopes that i'll find one that's just as big yeah, it's a reasonable, I think that's a reasonable, reasonable, reasonable length. Length? Girth? Dunno. Unsure. I do like this though. We'll see. Um, so I've got it in a size 12 again. I quite like the pockets. It's giving me like retro diner vibes. I really quite like it. Yeah, I'll try it on and I'll let you know what my, what my ideas are. Okay, misguided, aka... Ooh. Diner shirt. That was the hardest to get into. So this is a 12. Not enjoying so far. I should have got a 14 already. Should have sized up. No, I don't enjoy this one already from the get go. I pref I'd prefer it to be a bit more, which you could, but it's it's already sort of like flattening. Does that make sense? Like it's already quite like flat. I did want it to be more sort of structured. And also look. Although it's going to be an undershirt, like you could get a 14 and it'd probably be, it'd probably fit all right. Hang on, let me do this one up properly. It's still going to gape. It is giving me like diner vibes. I can't unsee it now, but now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. I do like it, but it's not the best one. I can already tell you, it's not the best one. It's really like fitted on the boobs, which I normally never have that issue with. I've got the most average boob size that there is. My boobs are definitely not an issue. The fact that they've made it an issue is an issue. Yeah, no, there are so many better ones. Also, like, the sleeves, because my boobs are so, like, in it, like, my arms feel a bit restricted because that's restricted. It's a very bizarre situation to be in. I've never had this situation before where my boobs have been too big for the top. Hang on, let me show you the collar up close. Then fair enough, you do, you do so, you do so. However, I do not enjoy it so much. Like, um, I haven't tried on the monkey one yet in my try-ons. Um, I feel like she's already gonna be better. I feel like monkey's already gonna do better. So this one, I'm kicking to the curb. Next one, so I think these are both ASOS. So I got two different styles. This one looks kind of off-white. Oh, it's petite. Petite long sleeve boyfriend shirt. She's got her boyfriend shirt on. Guy doesn't actually own a shirt, I don't think. I think he's probably got one from like a wedding. Okay, so I take it back. He has got, probably got one white shirt. I don't think it'd fit me like this boyfriend shirt would. Not me cheating on Guy with ASOS boyfriend shirts. Oh, you know it's bougie. She's got a bit of cardboard under the collar. I should do. Um, right, Christ alive. Oh my God, that's humongous. Look at the size, look at that. She wasn't kidding when she said it was oversized. It's literally her boyfriend's shirt. Again, got it in a size 12, so I didn't like up or down, I don't think. 
yeah i didn't even look at the reviews either naughty girl let's compare collars i think that's a decent size collar i quite like that collar i feel like if it wasn't so oversized i'd be a lot more in it but it's not and therefore i'm <sighs> I have to try it on. A lot of these I'm just looking at, I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, they're all right. I can't actually give you my full opinion until I've got it on. So like it's quite large. I'll just see what the price is again on these as well, because I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'll see what the fit's like. We'll see what's going on here. I've got a petite, so it should be shorter. So it shouldn't be humongous. It shouldn't be like a shirt dress on me. Um, hmm. Okay, this is the boyfriend's shirt. I'm, I like the sleeves. The sleeves are nice. Look, you've got a little bit of, uh, I don't know, cuffage. It's quite nice, I enjoy. Right, look at the, oh no. Ooh. Right, boyfriend's shirt. I just never wear these, like, by themselves. It looks very bizarre by itself. Whoever wears shirts normally on day to day, you'd be like, what the hell, what the hell. Uh, it's look totally fine. They look really weird without a um, like vest over the top. Really bizarre. But I really like this one. I think it fits quite nicely considering it's supposed to be a boyfriend one. This is the length. I don't know why I constantly feel like I have to pop the leg. Yeah, I feel like this is a similar length to um, the Zara one that I've got already. So, yeah, I rate it. I quite like the boyfriend one. Again, I think this is a 12 as well, so just go for like your normal size. Yeah, look. The pocket's a bit obnoxious. Like, what? why is it so big for? Like, what are you putting in there? What are you doing? I don't know. Grab a little shirt. A little shirt? No, not a shirt. This isn't a shirt. But grab a shirt. Whack a little knit on the top. Yeah. Away you go. This is Zara, by the way. Yes, I do quite enjoy this one. I feel like it'd be quite a nice alternative to the Zara one and the colour as well yeah I like it solid option a solid option okay and then the final one we've got again is ASOS own and it's the ASOS design long sleeve oversized dad shirt cotton white okay so we've got your boyfriend shirt we've got the dad shirt at some point we'll get our own shirts but apparently we're just nicking them from our dads and our boyfriends Again, ASOS coming through with the bit of luxury, God's sake. Again, we've got an impressive collar. Hang on. I think that's an impressive collar, I won't lie. I quite enjoy that. Again, got it in a size... Oh, I went to a 10 for this one. Well, good job I did as well, because it's fucking huge. Look, why are they saying that dads are bigger than your boyfriend? Look at that. Oh my god, that's literally going to be a dress. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not having a good time here, are we? Okay, I really, really enjoy the collar though. We'll assess the situation. We'll try it on and see what's going on. For reference, I would probably size down even more. Um, so I'm a size 12. This was oversized fit and it said to size down. Um, so I'm a size 10 and I'd probably go down to an 8 or even a 6. It's humongous. Sorry, should we go back? Should we go back here? Right, so this is the dad's shirt. Okay, it's not as obnoxiously big as I thought it was going to be. However, I don't enjoy the fact that it's literally like something straight out of Bridgerton. Do you know what I mean? Look. Hang on, let me turn it up a bit. Yeah, look. Like, what, what am I doing? Go for a waltz? No way. Okay, and then lengthwise, look. So it's not too horrific. However... The sleeves are really putting me off. I really like the collar. The collar is really nice. It's not too flimsy, but it's also not too um, thin and like nothing. I've also got like a black, like a sports bra -y sort of thing underneath. I think it's done quite well considering. I can't remember what the price was. I'll pop it up for you, but I feel like this is a pretty decent one. I wouldn't pay any more than £20 for it though, or around that mark completely going like, I'm hazarding a guess here I don't even know how much it was yeah it's it's okay this is literally the first one I've tried on so I've done it completely backwards I've tried on all the shirts completely backwards I'm really sorry so I'll have to tell you <laughs> I'll have to tell you at the end what I thought of them um but yeah I really like it I just mm, gotta try the others on 
I've been really good and um, forgotten to film an outro until I've literally got round to filming editing even that video so please do let me know which ones were your favorite i'm definitely going to be keeping the boyfriend shirt which was kind of like an oversized version it was very similar to my zara one um and then i'm also going to keep the monkey one as well because i did want one that was sort of like short sleeved so now i've got a grand total of three white shirts now in my wardrobe that i can wear well actually still two because i might have left that one at chloe and jess's um from zara but I've, but I've now got two, so I'm not completely without now, which is grand. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like and subscribe. And let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to try and find um, for you. So obviously we've done white shirts, but is there anything else you'd like to see? Anything else, in, anything else at all? Do let me know and I shall definitely work on it for you. Love you lots. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Cheerio.